Okay, guys, we are going to create another um, digital drawing on Procreate today. We're going to make our own neon light. You're first going to follow uh, my tutorial, and we're going to make a piece of pizza, and then you can make your own. Here are some real neon lights. You might have seen some other ones in restaurants or a convenience store or something. There's a nice mushroom one. Um, okay, so we're going to open up Procreate, and um, this is the one I did for the example so this is the one I had already done and that's what we are going we're gonna do today so I want you to go to gallery and open up a new file okay so I'm gonna get a black um, and I'm gonna go to sketching procreate pencil and black okay I'm gonna make my um, pencil a lot smaller okay so we have a background layer and a layer one I'm going to now draw my pizza I'm gonna make that a little bigger Okay, and I'm gonna make a V here for my slice. Okay, and get a little crust at the bottom. And back this way. And I'm gonna make a hump here for the crust. Maybe it's stuffed crust. These should really be pretty simple drawings um, because imagine a, a neon light is made out of bent glass. You're not gonna be very detailed, okay? So today we're gonna focus on using a different variety of brushes, blurring, um, and changing some things on our brushes. Okay, so now, Oops, I'm gonna put some sauce. Some pepperonis. Pretty generic, kind of a traditional pizza. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna take my background layer off. I can still see my sketch, but this is gonna look a lot better on a background color. And now I'm gonna to go to airbrushing, and I want you to go to the very bottom and hit hard airbrush. Okay, that's what we're gonna do our neon light in. And I am going to then, oops, I forgot to show you something, hit our hairbrush. And we're gonna, so it says on the left here, stroke path and stabilization. Go to stabilization and take your streamline all the way up. So the, right here, and we're gonna put that at 100%, that's gonna make your turns and your um, fluidity of your brush a lot smoother, kind of like that glass is on a um, neon light. Okay, now I'm going to pick a, a color for my crest. I'm gonna go over here to orange. If I go right in the corner, I'm gonna get the most vibrant um, color, and I'm gonna do my crest in orange which is way more exciting than brown neon light. Can make those turns perfect if you hold your pen down. And those lines perfectly straight like we learned to do. Oh, actually I need to maybe go back. Neon, um, neon, I'm gonna start over here. Neon lights are made out of bent glass. They'll never quite connect because you can't fuse that glass together. So think about how you would actually bend glass and how it would actually bend. So I'm gonna come here and then you're not gonna connect. See how I left that little gap there? And same thing here. How can you actually bend the glass to make it kind of realistic? And I'm gonna do it there. Maybe that would be a, okay. So look at the, um, when you look at, let's go back to here. Let's go back to our folder photos. See those little gaps here in the banana, how the glass could actually be bent. All right, so I'm gonna leave those little gaps and think about some nice good starts and stops. Okay, now I'm gonna do my cheese, so I'm gonna get a nice bright yellow. Come up here to the highest part and I'm gonna go. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna get a red for my pepperoni. Same thing here, my circles aren't gonna completely connect. All right, so just like that, kind of looks like a neon light already, but we're not done yet. We're gonna add some more good stuff to it. I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna pick a white. In a neon light, the light shines from the inside out. So now I'm gonna, in a new layer, oops, I'm gonna bring my brush size down and I'm going to now make a white line. Trust me on this, it's gonna look a little weird at first. I'm gonna make a white line inside of these. And then if that's not, you want that exactly in the middle. So if it's not in the middle, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna go to liquify and push. And I'm gonna push the lines. You can kind of manipulate them to go a little bit more in the middle. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna come back here to my line. And I'm gonna come here. Try to get it exactly in the middle. Okay. And if you think that those need mine, I feel like look pretty good. They don't really seem to me like I need to push them, but if you need to go to liquefy and push, you can get those more in the middle. Now, um, in red, for some reason, it shines orange. So um, I'm going to take an orange and I am going to go to a new layer and I'm going to make it, oops, I'm gonna come to orange and I'm gonna put an orange line in the middle of my pepperoni Red's just one of those weird color and blue too. Blue and red and neon light shine a different color. You can always just look at a, look up a neon light and see how it um, looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to my white layer and I am gonna go make it shine, make it, those lines look pretty um, crisp. I don't want them so crisp. I'm gonna come to Gaussian Blur and I'm gonna drag my pencil to the right to 5%. and it's gonna make that light shine a little bit. I'm gonna come up here to my pepperoni level and do the same thing and go to Gaussian Blur and slide my pencil, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna make that shine. And then I'm gonna come down to layer three and go to my, um, and then I'm gonna go add, add. Oh, look at that shine there. And I'm gonna come to that layer and do the same thing go to my opacity and go to add. So now those babies are shining and um, now I am ready to put a background color in. Um, you want something dark. So I'm gonna go with maybe a dark navy blue. So I go black, gray, navy blue. Come here and then I'm gonna click, oops, click my background color on. Oh, I kinda love that. Okay, now at any time you can take your sketch out. We don't need that original sketch. Okay, this looks pretty good, okay? But I kinda want some more shine going on. So um, I am going to come down here, add another layer on top of my background. And I am going to, this is fine like this, if you like it like this. I am going to, um, go to industrial and go to this corrugated iron and I'm going to put a little like it's hanging on a wall like it's not just this blank wall and I'm going to come back to my blue I'm going to hold my finger on the blue which sketches the blue and then I'm going to go to a little darker color 
a lot darker. Okay. And I'm going to go bring that up a little bit. And I'm going to um, come to that layer. Okay. And I'm going to take my pencil and go all the way from top to bottom. And it's going to have it maybe look like it's like on a wall. So it has those lines there. Now, if I really had a... Um, light on a wall some of that would shine onto the wall so now i'm gonna come on top of my pizza layer and i'm actually gonna come to the top of the layer okay i'm gonna grab my orange color and now i'm gonna bring my actually i'm gonna say keep it the same size as your background and i'm gonna lightly this looks weird i know but trust me we're gonna make it look even better Okay, it's pretty stark right now because I'm making it shine on that background. Come grab my yellow, I promise you, we'll make it look better. We're making it shine. Okay, I'm gonna come to the red. Okay, uh, I know you don't probably love it right now, but we're gonna make it look better. Okay, so then on that layer, we're gonna come here and go to, um, I think I like vivid light maybe. I think I used, I'm looking for add color maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna put a lighter color, I think. Okay, and come back here and go to opacity and bring your opacity down to where you think it looks like it might just be shining a little bit, okay? If you want that textured background, you can do that. If you don't like that textured background, I'm gonna take that out, maybe take out my um, thing again. I like to make it look like it's shining a little bit. You could also go to um, Lumia, Luminance and go to Light Pen, okay? And then you can trace over, I'm gonna come, oops, I'm gonna come up to the top layer. You can go to light pen, you can trace around, maybe make it a little bigger. You could trace in the middle there and it makes it look like it's shining a little bit. shine just be careful with it to make it look you can maybe even do a straight line make it look like it's shiny that's a little dark okay so you can play around with that to make it look a little shiny I kind of like it sometimes just straight up or like I showed you with my background like this that makes it look like it's on a wall and shiny now if you saw on my, there's a peace sign that I did, and then if you saw my pizza, um, this one has, um, it's on some neon lights, it has the background colored in. You can choose what you want to do. Um, so if you like that look, you can then come to here, add a layer right here, right on top of our background, and I'm gonna come and grab that yellow Okay, and then I'm going to maybe just get a paintbrush, painting. Okay, and I'm gonna paint in that area. Maybe crank it up a little bit. You should be able to go under all that stuff because I'm on the bottom layer. Okay, I'm gonna grab my iron. I know it doesn't look exactly how you want it to yet, but we'll do some stuff afterwards. Okay, I'll make that red. Oh, 
Oh, I'll put some sauce right there. Oops. Okay, now you want the part that's the light to be the darkest, so you want to come up to here and go to um, adjustments and go to hue, saturation, brightness, maybe make it darker than the light. There we go, that kind of makes it look a little better. Maybe saturate it a little bit and make it lighter. Okay, whatever you think looks best for your light. Okay, now that I think that looks okay. I still have that weird light in there because I did the the other light pen. Okay, so there you go. Now you get to do your own light after this. I'd like for you to do another object. I'm just going to show you though before we end how if you like to do a word, you could maybe want to do your name or do somebody else's name. Um, or so I did Ashley there. That's my first name. And we're going to go to screen size and I'm going to show you just some tricks just if you want to play around. This is I don't want you to do a word for your um, original one. Think of something else to do. Okay, so I'm gonna come here and go to sketching and I'm gonna write a word. How about I write the word art? I'm gonna write the word art as I normally would. Now, hear me out, because this isn't gonna make as much sense. You're gonna to go to airbrushing again. You're gonna to go to hard airbrush and I'm gonna think about what color I want it to be. I'm gonna go with this uh, teal here, okay. I'm gonna turn off my background color. I'm gonna to go to a new layer and make it a little bigger. Okay, now um, it's best, I know this doesn't make sense, just to, to make it look more like a neon light, you wanna start from the back of the word and you wanna make sure you never cross over another line because there's no way with neon you would be able to do that. So you wanna go like this. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go yeah, I don't like how that looks. So maybe I'll go I don't know exactly how I want that T. Um no. How about this? Looks okay. I'd probably play around with it if I was doing this for something else. How would those, um, actually I don't like as much. I'm okay with the T now. Maybe I'll add a, there we go. I like, I like that loop in there. All right, okay, we're just gonna go with it. That looks okay. So you notice, um, did I like that? No, I don't like that. Okay, you notice there, the, you want those start stops. You don't want any lines to go over each other. Okay, then we're gonna go add a layer. We're gonna add to white. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna put that line a little bigger put that line inside of there now that one's off a little bit so i'm gonna go to liquify and push bring that down a little bit okay come back up here Okay, then I'm gonna go to Gaussian Blur, blur at 5%. You can blur it as much as you want, blur it, it'll shine. Okay, now I'm gonna go to 
here and go to add. Okay, and now I'll add a background. Ooh, I don't. Look how gross it looks in white. We don't want that. that. I'm going to add a black background color. Done. Okay. And I want it to shine a little bit more. Yeah, like normal. Play around with that a little bit. Normal. Maybe I want a different color to make it shine. Doesn't look, I'm gonna go back to here. Maybe blue. Let's try this. I'm just gonna do the A. I should take my time and push that more to the middle, but I'm just going to be impatient. Now I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I kind of like that actually. And then I'm going to go to here and hit add. Why is that? I don't like that. Normal. Maybe we'll just stay with normal and blur a little more. Gaussian Blur. Okay, so you can do a word. Um, so what I want you to do though is do your piece of pizza first, and then that looks a little better. I did do the blurring in the background there, and then um, there's a peace sign. I don't know if that's how much. Let's see if I did any other ones. Oh, I did. Have, I have a friend that runs cross country. I did that for her daughter. So you can design your own. Oh, there's an apple. It's pretty simple. Okay, go for it. <laughs> 